All right, so I just want to see what's inside. I think the only thing holding this cover on is that. So that's what I'm going to attempt to uh, pull it. Just to see what's in there, you got to get the wire through. Um, all right, this was really misthreaded and bunged up. Um, doesn't, doesn't look good at all. Uh, you can't really see it, but uh, yeah, that's not pretty. <laughs> So we'll see what happens. I'm hoping this uh, pops out of there. Um, I don't really plan to reuse the lavalier switch anyway, uh, so it's not that big a deal. Let's see what happens next. There was also a little flat washer deal. We'll save that for later use, perhaps. Here's your lavalier switch. I'm not saying that right. And some sort of a coil or condenser, whatever the heck that thing is. I don't know. What is that? Uh, and then the motor. Everything's bolted to the back of that. So we'll have to see, um, you know, it looks like it wouldn't be hard to fit a regular switch in there where the lavalier is. And uh, so we'll see how that goes. It might be pretty simple to just wire it to that deal. Let me blow the dust off of it. And I'm going to pull the cord through. As you can see, it's knotted, you know, proper stuff, a couple of caps. So there you go. All right, cool. Let me pull that through there. All right, it's a little difficult to actually show this because of all the shadows, but here we go. We've got our um, lava level ear switch um, with the uh, the hot and the neutral both coming to the outside of the switch, and then on the bottom here we have um, well, honestly, I don't really understand it yet. I might not understand it ever. Uh, we've got some big fat solders on this. Uh, which must be a coil or a choke something. I don't think it's capacitor run. So that's what we got. I don't really know much about this. It's pretty complicated as I expected. But, uh, you know, the problem that it has, aside from it, that it leaks. Um, hold on, let me see. The, the wiring and everything looks pretty good. I blew some dust off. It's a little dirty in here, but it doesn't look that bad. Um, it's all cloth wiring, but. The thing is, is it doesn't snap when you just pull down. You have to actually pull all the way out for the chain to... It's not going to show you that. Um, but anyway, for it to actually click, you have to pull on it all the way out. So anyway, um, but we're, we're more worried about it actually functioning. So the question is, will we be able to hook a on-off on or the ABCD EFG switch? To this, I don't really know. I have to take a look at it, and I got to do a little research. Uh, but anyway, that's what I wanted to see. I wanted to see what was in there. So, this is your switch. What does this actually do? This must choke, right? So, does that mean that this is a one-speed motor? So, it must be, right? It must be one speed, and this is your low speed, or the, the opposite. I don't know. And anyway, what do you think? You guys know more about this stuff than I do, really. That's for damn sure. Uh, so, that's the deal with this guy. I'm going to put the cover back on. I don't think I'm going to be able to get that <laughs> screw back on that thing. But again, if we find a switch that works, hopefully it'll just screw in here. You can see there's a second retaining screw that holds it onto this bracket. So hopefully we'll be able to reuse all that stuff as, as needed. Um, and, uh, and we'll get it uh, back together at some point. All right, so I'm changing my mind. This has got to be a capacitor. It's got to be capacitor start because this has got power going in and out of it, the red. And then the yellow is without it. I don't know what's going on here, but there's, there's an awful lot going on. But this couldn't be a coil. Coils look different. So this is a capacitor, I think. Uh, it doesn't seem to have leaked or anything. It doesn't seem too gross. Uh, hopefully that'll be serviceable. Uh, but yeah, I'm just, just daunting this deal here. Not really sure what's going on, so we'll have to, uh, you know, get this to a professional who knows what the heck's going on. A little out of my scope. I was hoping it would be really simple, just 
take the something off of here, put it onto the new switch, but I don't really understand how this works. Um, so I'm not really sure what's going on, why this would go in here and then out of here, but then out of here as well. So there's like questions. I got questions. I don't know how any of this works. So anyway, that's because uh, I'm a novice. I don't really know much about this stuff. Uh, I'm good at oiling them, cleaning them. Uh, I'm bad at painting them, and I'm bad at the other stuff. So anyway, that's what this thing looks like anyhow. Um, it's certainly cool, but it needs someone who knows what the heck's going on. So I'm going to have to find somebody to uh, help me get this thing uh, wired correctly so that I don't screw anything up. Now here's what it looks like to me. This is the power cord here. It's connected two places. It's connected on the back directly. Oh, sorry, guys. But directly where this red goes to, up there, I can't show you. I'm an idiot. But this red one goes up and is connected at the same place as the black. And then that follows down around here and goes into our canister. The canister, which I guess is a resistor? I don't know what it is. That then goes down to the motor. And then our next thing that's connected on the lavalier switch is the yellow. This is the yellow right here, that guy, and he goes direct to the motor. And then we have black comes out of the motor. Um, and it go, I don't know why. So there's a black that comes out of the motor, okay, and goes into the switch, which I assume brings us to our cord. But there's another black that comes to the other side of this canister. That's why I don't understand what's going on. Um, and many other reasons. Ha <laughs> uh, ha! There are many reasons why I don't understand what the hell's going on. So anyway, that's what I'm seeing. It's an interesting setup. What do you think? How is this supposed to work? Can you hook this up to a modern? I'm sure you can. Uh, what would I need to do? Um, how do I test what's going on with the micro multimeter? Multimeter, that's the freaking word I'm looking for. Um, but this is really cool looking. I love these giant dabs of solder, these giant solder blobs on that thing looks pretty cool uh, so I'm gonna put it back together and uh, let me know what you think about all this it's an interesting setup damned if I know what the heck to do uh, and there you go